Okay, you guys, hello, and welcome back to Ice Water Yoga. Um, my name is Amanda, and today we are going to be doing a meditation about connectedness, right? And I really like this, this concept because we all have like a very specific place in this world, right? Whether you're on a team or a part of, uh, you know, a collective of people in some, some capacity, whether you're at an office, like you have a very important role in whatever group setting that you're in. Um, but it's a dangerous place when we get very caught up in just our role and we forget about the, the qualities of being connected to others and how our role is actually nothing if we're not grounded in that connectivity. Um, and so it's a nice thing to call yourself back to once in a while. And as a bonus, you get to show some love energetically to the people that you're around the most, which is always nice. Uh, you want to send some more love out there, right? So let's get started. I'm going to stay seated. I just did a laying down meditation and I'm not going to lie, I almost fell asleep. So I'm going to keep myself elevated. Uh, so come into a comfortable seat. I cross my shins and then as you allow the eyes to close, choose what you want to do with your hands. So palms facing down is typically symbolic of grounding, right? When you need to feel very solid in your space. So for this meditation, actually, I suggest palms facing up, which is symbolic of receiving energy. And sometimes you see the little Buddhas with their hands out like this. And I think it's really important not only to give out energy in the context of a team or a group, but it's also really important to be open to receiving that, that support. It's a mutual sort of exchange. So palms up to help illustrate that in the body. Let's start with a deep, deep breath in together. So as you fill the belly, fill the chest, get really expansive and pause at the top of the breath. Maybe you grab a little bit more air, get super full. Hold here for three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. We do that two more times. Let's take another deep breath in and up, a little longer, a little more expansive than the last time. Hold at the top. Feel the lungs, the rib cage expand. Keep holding that breath in. And as you exhale, open mouth, soften the body. Good. One last breath. Big, 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 big inhale in and up. Watching in your mind's eye the breath travel past the crown of your head. That's how much air you're breathing in. Hold here. Exhale, let it go. Good. And now with the lips sealed, just begin this very soft, melodic breath in and out through the nose. But not a ton of, of effort, right? Not a ton of doing. Not a ton of doing. And Begin to visualize your breath. Right? Visualize your breath. So even though the air is clear, usually can't see air unless we're breathing out on a cold day, can you imagine that you can see air flowing in your body, into the lungs. And can you watch that air leave your body, leave your nose, and go back out into the world? Just watching your own breath come from this very shared space filter through you, and then go back out into that same shared space. Good. 
And so even something as simple as the breath is a community affair. You share space with everyone around you. And so I always like the visualization of a tapestry or a blanket, right? Think about something ornate, maybe even a carpet. And so you look at this this tapestry, right? And you see this really brilliant design. So many different parts and pieces to it. So many colors and elements in the way that it might be woven together. And so as a unit, it is this one beautiful piece of art, really. But it wouldn't be that, you know, not even just a tapestry, any piece of art could not be what it is without one of those little stitches, without one of the colors. Right? It is necessary for all elements to be combined in that very specific way to look the way that it does. You think about the ocean, a home to enormous animals, whales, sharks, but also home to the tiniest plankton, the tiniest cellular beings that have such a profound effect on the makeup of the ocean. The lack of even the smallest organisms would throw not just the water, but our entire earthly environment off balance. And so you see when you look out around you how absolutely critical it is for all elements that make up a thing, whether it's a tapestry, an ocean, a team, all elements are of equal importance though they may look different or have different functions, different specialties. They are all equally important. So in the context of your life, where do you fit in? As you see your unique gifts, your unique talents, can you also see how they are so deeply interconnected to those around you? And that those around you have that same mutual feeling. So you become stronger, better, more capable when you're supported by everyone in your community. And with that being true, it's critical that you also offer that support. Beginning to truly feel into this idea that We're all living on a completely equal, completely level playing field in terms of the respect, the importance. The things that we deserve, 
There is no one better or less than. And so if that is true, if we are all equally deserving, then we are all so deeply, deeply called to accept, to embrace a sense of community, to truly dive into appreciation for connectedness. So what helps you feel more connected? Is it an act of love, an act of service, a kind word? And where can you begin to implement more of that into your life? Where can you offer more of your support to those around you? And will you welcome in that support on the other end? And then lastly, we ground ourselves in a truly deep sensation of gratitude. And gratitude that we have a very important place in our communities. Gratitude that we are surrounded by people who appreciate, support, love, respect us. Gratitude that we have the ability to give out that same energy. To give it out so freely, right? It never, ever runs out. And slowly start to deepen the breath. Deep in and exhales, waking the body back up. And on this next, next inhale, taking the fullest, biggest, deepest breath you've taken today. Hold at the top. Now, when you hold, make fists out of your hands, squeeze your face, shrug your shoulders up to your ears, make everything nice and tight. Keep holding for three. Two, one, soften everything, allow the eyes to open. A little bit of movement as you wake yourself back up, come back into the room. So that's that, my friends. A little connectedness, right? I'm sending yourself a reminder that not only are you important and you deserve a seat at the table, but everyone else around you does too, right? So like, I I think I said it, I think I said level playing field, but that's all it is, right? Level playing field, mutual respect, mutual love, mutual support. You give that out freely, right? It doesn't cost a thing, so you give as much of it out as you can, okay? That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later. Again, my name is Amanda, and I hope to see you soon.